Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how you can go ahead and farm the Bera Chain airdrop. Now I have made a couple of videos in the past explaining how you can go ahead and farm the Bera Chain airdrop. But recently in June of 2024, they have launched the public testnet which is BRTO or BRTO B2. And the task for farming this airdrop is almost similar to the one that you have been farming on the previous version. Now if you are someone who is farming airdrops using multiple wallets, you would want to avoid your wallets getting marked as civil and ineligible for airdrops. Because these days the civil detection is pretty harsh and people create multiple wallets and farm the airdrop and hope to be eligible. But without good proxies their account gets banned and they waste their time and money farming the airdrops. To avoid that you will need to have good residential proxies in order to be eligible for the airdrop. Now I have discovered a relatively new proxy provider which is Node Maven and 90% of their IPs are clean and safe to use. Now please note that every proxy has a quality score and the lower the score the higher is the chances that your wallet will get marked as civil and you would be banned or ineligible for the airdrop. Now I will be showing you exactly how you can go ahead and test the quality of the proxies. In order to check the quality of the proxies, you can go ahead and install the bulk proxy checker extension by pixel scan on your Firefox browser. I have now generated few proxies on Node Maven and for checking the quality score simply go ahead and copy this over here. Head to your Firefox extension, go to pixel scan bulk proxy checker, paste all the proxies over here and click on check proxies and wait for the results to pop up. So as you can see almost all the IPs are of high qualities. Now what makes uh, Node Maven unique is it has an industry IP filtering system and 95% plus of their IPs have a clean records and they undergo a quality assurance. Now if we talk about the pricing of Node Maven it has a competitive pricing which starts with 35 euros a month and there is a different plan for business users as well. And once you purchase traffic, it stays on your dashboard forever until you use it. Now, if you sign up for Node Maven using the link in the description and using the promo code as insight during the checkout, you would be getting 2 GB of additional proxy. Now, please note that this offer is not valid for the trial proxy plan. And once you apply the Node Maven proxies, you can start farming your airdrops. Now, with regards to Bera Chain airdrop, I will exactly guide you with all the steps and leave all the links in the description so that it would be easy for you guys to navigate and farm this updated airdrop. Now the first thing that you will need to do is you will need to go ahead to two of their faucets and request for some Bera tokens. Now simply go over here, go to your metamask wallet and switch your chain to Bartio. And as you can see I have few Bera over here. Now simply go back to your metamask wallet, copy your metamask address over here, paste it over here and click on drip tokens. Or alternatively you can use the another faucet which is faucet Kodiak. Do the similar thing, copy your contact address from metamask, paste it over here, click on I am not robot and click on drip. Now please note that you can request one Bera every 180 minutes. Now once you have Bera in your wallet, all you have to do is you will need to go to your Bex or Dex on the Bera chain. And you can go ahead and swap some Bera for wrapped Bera, honey. Now I would suggest is uh, swapping at least 30 to 40 percent of your Bera for honey because you will be needing a lot of honey in order to complete certain tasks. And then you can go ahead and swap uh, some Bera for USDC over here, then wrap BTC, then you can go ahead and do this for wrap this as well. Now once you complete all the swaps, all you can do is you can go to their pools over here and go ahead and add the swapped tokens to the liquidity pool. So there is this honey to USDC is there, honey to wrapped it is there, then honey to wrapped bearer is there. So what will happen is like once you go ahead and add the liquidity over here, you would be getting something called as BGT. Now these BGT tokens are useful for governance on the Bera chain. So you can go ahead and vote for different proposals on Bera chain and potentially qualify for Bera chain airdrop. Now apart from this you can also head to vaults over here. Now as you can see you can go ahead and deposit some honey over here. For example if I want to go ahead and deposit one honey I will simply click on approve honey over here and wait for the metamask to pop up. Simply go ahead and click on next and click on approve. 
now after some time it will ask you to go ahead and deposit the honey so simply click on this once again wait for the metamask to pop up confirm the transaction and now your honey would be deposited in the vault so as you can see now it's deposited over here and these are the estimated earnings and also you get something called as bee honey now currently epoch 107 is running and next thing that you can do is you can head to this dashboard over here and as you can see in the dashboard you can go ahead and supply honey now i've already supplied two honey over here and similarly you can go ahead and deposit like wrap btc for example so i will go ahead and confirm this transaction on my metamask wallet and max and click on approve and once uh, wrap btc is approved you can go ahead and deposit this so simply go ahead and click on confirm on your metamask wallet and wait for the transaction to be over now it's done and similarly you can do the similar thing for wrapped eth as well and against which you can borrow different assets on bartio bend now the last thing is vaults now there are different vaults over here and as you can see only this vault is providing rewards in vd honey and bend so you can go ahead and deposit some honey in the liquidity pool over here so this is the gauge simply click on add over here click on add incentives and you can go ahead and select the number of honey that you want to deposit in this gauge so for example i am going ahead and depositing one and over here also i will select one and click on approve honey and wait for the metamask to pop up and click on next and click on approve now wait for the transaction to be completed and click on incentivize over here and once again click on confirm now this honey is added to this vault and you would be getting this rewards over here which is vd honey and bend and there are few more steps in order to farm the bera chain v2 airdrop and this is all for this video and in case if you have any doubts and questions please feel free to leave a comment i would be more than happy to help you and i would be coming up with more videos on bera chain for the updated airdrop farming hopefully you like my video thanks for watching